Frequency recording or tally recording is simply tallying how many times something happened. So we would use frequency recording if we wanted to know how many times a student did something like raise their hand, talk out, go to the bathroom, etc. How many times it happened is a frequency that we're looking for. We want to make sure when we're using frequency recording that we are looking at behaviors that are the same length approximately. If the behavior sometimes happens for only a second and other times can happen for minutes at a time, then it doesn't make sense to count them. If one time a behavior happened and it lasted for an hour and we said there was one, on another day it happened for a minute and there were two, saying that it happened more on one day because there were two doesn't really make sense. So they need to be of equal duration. The big advantage we have when we use frequency recording is that it's very direct. It's us watching and recording exactly what happens. Also, if you know what time it was when you started and what time it was when you ended, you can convert it to a rate. If it happened two times during a minute that you watched, you could say it happened two times per minute. So the big disadvantage is you've got to watch the student all the time. It takes direct attention from you to do it if you're going to use frequency. Material-wise, it's pretty simple. You need a pencil and paper to tally or you need paper clips that you put in one pocket and pull them out every time one happens and put that in the other pocket, count them up later. Or it could be a golf counter, but it's very simple. The label you're gonna have for your data when you're done is either number of times or number of times per minute. Class, the other day we were doing some reading on Ellis Island, so we're just going to do sort of a brief question answer on this actual uh, piece of paper regarding Ellis, okay? So here we go. Please raise your hands if you know the answers. Ellis Island was the immigration station in... You can oh, I know that, that one. I know that one. Austin? New York. That is correct. Over 12 million immigrants from all over the world entered Wait, the country so through Ellis Island. The island that is now Ellis Island was purchased by a local resident named... Oh, I know. Anybody? I mean, I, can you be uh, Evan. Samuel Ellis. That's correct. In 1774. When immigration became the responsibility of the federal government in the late 1800s, officials wanted a federal immigration station to be built on Ellis Island. Okay, so as you saw on the form, when you're done with this, at the end of the observation period, all you're gonna do is count up all those paper clips, or count up all those tallies, and you're gonna put them on the form in the blank. Now, if tomorrow you wanna do this for a short period of time, or maybe for a longer period of time, all you have to do is divide the number you got by the total number of minutes you observed, and that gives you rate per minute. Now it doesn't matter how long you do it any other day, it's standardized, so you're always gonna have rate per minute.